Hey everyone, it's Lexi. In today's video, I'll be doing the Who Am I book tag. So this is one that I've seen going around YouTube for a while and I thought this one would be fun for you guys to learn more about me. So I'll have the original creator of this video linked down below in addition to all the questions. So if you guys do this video, please let me know. I'd love to go and see it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Honestly, like I really live a very kind of boring life, so I feel like, you know, fantasy would be out. Um, I don't really live a murder crime genre lifestyle, and I feel like my life is not a fluffy contemporary, so I feel like historical fiction, because it is realistic, you know, it has its ups and downs and all that stuff, so I feel like it's a better accurate representation of my life because, you know, and I have complexities to me like you know like I live a regular life but you know there's some extreme moments here or there so I feel like historical fiction would be a better representation of my life. Um, I can't really think of a villain that I identify with the most, but this is probably my favorite. It's actually from a TV show, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, like Lilith, the Lilith character. Um, yeah, like she's such a complex character. Like you can see her, like she really cares about Sabrina, but she's also very much torn between her loyalty to the Dark Lord. And just seeing that progress over the two seasons was really interesting and like, you know, like you can see how she was kind of manipulated in this relationship with the Dark Lord and tricked and all this stuff. Like, I think, like, you know, there are aspects that every woman can relate to in terms of just, like, the patriarchy and the men being in charge and how she's dealt with that for, like, centuries, I think is really interesting. So I guess there's, like, pits, bits and pieces that I can relate to that, but, um, yeah, she's probably one of my favorite villains. For this one, I would probably have to say Hermione Granger. Um, I feel like she is everyone's, um, like everyone can relate to her, uh, especially like if you're growing up, I feel like there's a lot of like her insecurities with her hair and everything, like a lot of people can relate to. And especially because me, I'm like a professional student, basically as a PhD student. So like, you know, I, ha I really appreciated her academic, you know, like, ambitions and how studious she was and serious about her education so I really appreciated that and even now she is a role model to me. For this I would have to say the series of unfortunate events uh, series. I was obsessed with this series growing up and I feel like it's not that I don't like the story anymore it's just you know if I were to reread them going down to like especially now because I read like academic papers like I read I've been reading adult fiction for at least like 10 plus years so um like I'm just not used to kind of going down reading at middle grade stories so it's like I still love the stories I love the Netflix series um but I don't know if I'd be able to connect to the books the way that I did when I was younger as I would do now just because it's written for a younger audience I would really love to be Fallon from the Year One uh, trilogy by Nora Roberts. She is such a interesting character and I don't want to spoil too much about this one um, just because it, it, she is introduced in the second one and she's kind of the pivotal character in this trilogy. So um, yeah, I don't want to spoil that but she's just, I feel like if you're familiar with the series you'll know why but she's just such an interesting character and the role that she'll play. She's played and will play it in the final book. I'm just so excited for her. She's so interesting and she has the weight of the world on her shoulders. I'm very much, um, like we, we were joking about this with my parents and my siblings, but my grandpa on my mom's side has a lot of anxiety. Uh, problems and then my grandpa on my dad's side is very OCD like this and I am literally in terms of personality traits like in the quirks I'm basically I have the anxiety and OCD on both sides so like I am very much like this regimented in my routine I get very anxious about things being out of my routine and all that stuff so for me that is also reflected in 
my reading style. I have to read one book at a time. Now that I've kind of been doing book clubs with my aunt and my friend, like I honestly get so stressed out about reading more than one book at one time. Like I need to do it one at a time. I don't like having multiple books going. So it's been very much stressful for me with all these different book clubs. So um, <laughs> that is like my internal struggle. But in an ideal world, one book at a time. Like I don't like doing multiple books. Like it just gives me anxiety thinking about it. So for this one, it's actually a nonfiction, and it is Quiet by Susan Cain. I read this one during my master's a couple years ago, and I've never had a book kind of like a book. I felt like it was written for me, and I've always been told because I've been very much an introvert. I'm very quiet, you know, like, you know, I need to speak up and this, and I always told was told it was a weakness and something I needed to work on. and. All that stuff and it was always holding me back and for this book it actually made me realize that me being an introvert and being quiet has its power and like you know there are traits that you know extroverts have or that don't have but introverts do and it made me realize that who I, I don't have to change who my who I am I can be like a, an accomplished academic and still be an introvert I don't need to be on all the time and it re made me really appreciate who I am and made me realize I don't need to change who I am in order to be successful or liked and all that stuff so I really appreciated this book because it changed my entire outlook on who I am and who I've become and who I can like and who I need to be um, so I really appreciated that so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tag and learned more about me um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys